cheap auto ranging multimeter is going to do the trick. And I'll put my recommendation for that in the description. Uh, you can also use meters like this, these manual ranging meters. I don't recommend it. I say spend the extra $10, $15 to get the auto ranging meter. It's totally worth it. But as soon as you start measuring higher voltages, okay, line voltage and above, I do not recommend using these cheaper meters. They're not made to, to deal with that. I mean, technically you'll see like, you know, this will say, oh, this is a category um, one and a category two, 300 volts, 600 volts. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm putting 600 volts into this meter. That's, that's crazy. It's just not designed properly for that. And if we could go into a whole explanation of taking it apart and looking at why it's not and how it's not fused in certain locations and how this resistor is just going to blow up uh, once I put more than 500 milliamps of current through it. 